What's up, everybody? Welcome to Buzz Warby TV. I'm the girl, Lady T. And today, we are talking Breakfast Family Values. And yes, I prepared me a little shot. Why? Because a bitch is officially on vacation. Yes, and I'm not just having any old vacation. I am about to hit up Las Vegas with my family. It's about to be so freaking turnt. I can't wait. So anyway, y'all, I wanted to, you know, give y'all this quick video because I will definitely be leaving literally in a matter of hours to catch my flight. And I just wanted to kick it with y'all because I know next week is going to be a little crazy because I don't get back from Vegas until next Thursday. So suffice it to say, my reviews... You know, they won't, I don't, you may get one or two next week. Or, but you know, I got some special stuff for y'all planned in the works, so just bear with me, just bear with me. So anyway, y'all, let's get into this episode. I'm not going blow by blow, because these episodes, to me, they drag, and they, but they have their points where you be like, oh, shit, for real? Okay, that type of thing. So, I just want to talk about the episode in general. I don't want to go blow by blow because when you do that, it just really makes you realize how much the show has been dragging. All right. So, let's talk about, okay, Tony and Tamar got together because, you know, Tony is trying to do this cleanse because she is nominated for a Grammy. Yes, honey. Big ups to Tony Braxton. Y'all, I love me some Tony Braxton, okay? So, anyway, she has been nominated for her seventh Grammy Award. She wants to get on this cleanse and lose five pounds so she can fit in her dress, y'all. So she can slay. Like, she was telling uh, Tony, she got to show these young girls how to do it. Okay, so anyway, while they were at the cleanse, I mean, while they were at the, um, this, like, health food store, because Tony is going to be juicing. So anyway, however the case, they meet up, and, you know, while they're talking about juicing and all that, Tony tells Tamar, hey, you know, Trina is about to be a host of this new show. It's kind of like American Idol for songwriters, and maybe you can help her out with, you know, with some tips. You know, you host the reel or whatever. And Tamar was like, wow, you know what? I really would like to do that. But in the confessional, you know, she reveals that she's a little bit hesitant because, you know, she don't want anybody to take her criticism the wrong way. But she said, you know, make no mistakes. If she asks her for her advice, she'll definitely give it to her. She just don't want to overstep her bounds, you know. And I can understand that. You know, Tamar is really trying to keep her mouth closed. We'll see how long that lasts. And speaking of Tamar and trying to mend fences with her sisters, she is on a mission when all the sisters get there to, you know, pull each one of them aside and figure out what their issues are and how they can mend, you know, their relationship. So that's the goal for her when everybody comes to town to celebrate Tony Braxton's, you know, um, Grammy Award. So anyway, so back on that, before that, well, not before that, I'm sorry, y'all. After that, we got Tawanda and Trina. Tawanda, uh, Tawanda and Trina, they together. And Trina reveals to Tawanda that, hey, um, before we head to, you know, California, I got a little date. And, you know, Tawanda's like, what? You got a date? You know, tell me all about it, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, she don't want to jinx it. It's not, you know, her and this guy who turned out to be the contractor um, for the building that she is, you know, the building that she just bought for Bar Chicks. You know, he's helping remodel the building. And they seem to hit it off. He asked her on a date and she's going. And she don't want to jinx it, so she don't want to give Tawanda too much because, you know, Tawanda... Likes to spill the tea without spilling the tea. And, you know, Trina just don't want to hear anything right now. Especially because it's not that serious, you know. So, anyway. 
Um, so everybody gets in town for Tony's Grammy Award nomination. You know, whether she win or lose, they're there to support. So, like I said, Tamar wants to take this time to set the record straight with her sisters. You know, she loves them, and she just want to bury the hatchet. So the first person she meets up with is Tracy. And, you know, she wants to meet up with Tracy and just sit down and talk. So they, you know, go to this bar and grill. And let me tell y'all, they had some good food. They was doing, like, the buffalo uh, wings and the fried pickles and all that. I was like, yes. You know, I'm greedy like that. I eat all the stuff that is, like, totally bad for you. So, mm -mm. Don't ever ask me for no healthy eating, no diet tips, none of that. I eat everything that's bad for you. The only thing I do do is walk, and I do tend to work out. Like, you know, if y'all watch my videos, you know that I do go to the gym. But mm -mm. other than that, I'm greedy, and I eat everything that's bad for you. So, anyway. So, they sit down, they're eating. And, you know, Tamar wants to take a different approach. She just wants to be a vessel. She wants, you know, a chance to just be supportive and allow Trina to vent. So she asks Trina, you know, I'm no, sorry, not Trina, Tracy. So many dang on T's, y'all. Anyway, so she asks Tracy, you know, what's been going on with you? I know you've been feeling some type of way about little Kevin and his engagement. So, you know, she let Trina talk about that and you know she lets Tawana know that yeah she's freaking out about this engagement you know she be stalking them she won't let them cook in the kitchen together anytime they want to watch a movie she's right there with them she just freaking out because she's just so afraid that they moving too fast and she don't want them to get married I'm just like Trina I mean sorry Tracy Tracy calm down first of all it's only an engagement ain't nobody walking down the aisle today or tomorrow and number two you're gonna make them run and get married the more you sit up there and drive them crazy you know people are drawn to do things that they know people don't want them to do come on now the more somebody tell you not to do something the more you want to do it so calm down and everything else will work itself out. So anyway, you know, they end up having a not really nice dinner. And you can see that they on the road to, you know, just get into a better place. Okay. So then she tries to next meet up with Trina. And I need to take a shot to this because uh, it didn't go too well. Okay. I know, I just made the ugliest face. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't ever drink that straight. I thought I was a G. I can't do it. Okay. Woo! Okay, this is about to be raw and uncut. Because that, ooh. I'm not about to edit this. But anyway. So, she meets up with Trina. And let me tell you why I ain't about to edit this. Because I'm the type of person... That I consider y'all my fam. I don't really have a name for y'all yet. But I just always feel that the people that subscribe to my channel. That's why I particularly like doing my reviews on the couch. Because I just feel like we sit on the couch. And y'all just in my crib. And we just kicking it. You know. Um. So. Back to the episode. So she meets up. Tamar meets up with Trina. And basically. Trina is already kind of standoffish. It's like she came, but you could tell she got this wall up because she's still pissed off about what happened last year at the Atlanta concert. The way that, you know, she felt that Tr Tamar disrespected them, calling them bitches, and then having her people throw them out, even though Tamar time and time again has denied this shit. And... So, when they get there, you know, Tamar's like, what's up? And they get to talking. And the conversation does get to the Atlanta concert. And Tamar feels that she hasn't done anything wrong. And 
Trina's like, are you serious? And basically, you know, Tamar's like, well, I didn't throw you out. I didn't call you no bitches. And Trina's like, well, I think you're a liar. So basically, nothing gets resolved. And this is my thing. My thing with this whole scenario is Tamar, boom, boom, come here. Look. Ain't nobody trying to throw you under the bus or nothing. But everybody could tell that you was pissed off. You might not have went totally left, but you was not happy that they were there. So just admit that you had a freaking problem and you probably went back there and said some shit. It's okay. You can, you know, just apologize and say, hey, it was in the heat of the moment or whatever. I apologize. And Trina, as much as your, you know, I understand your feelings were hurt. I really do. But you have to understand that that was her show. So you got to own up to, yeah, I messed up. I messed up because despite everything, despite my good intentions, despite how I felt like she was disrespectful after the fact, it was her show and we did kind of bogart it. I, you know, we bogarted her show. You got to own up to that too. So to me... Both of y'all are being pig-headed because neither one of y'all want to take responsibility. And if neither one of y'all want to take responsibility, then you're right. Y'all ain't going to get nowhere. And, you know, Tamar, her confessional was like, I think the only way we are going to be able to get past this is to basically just, you know, just let it go. But that only worked for a little bit. Like, to me, you can only let things go to a certain extent. When you don't acknowledge something, especially something that really bothers you, it's going to eat at you. And the next thing you know, something very small can happen. And, you you know, y'all back at not communicating again. That's the thing about when you don't acknowledge things. Sometimes it backfires on you. And the next little thing that pops up, y'all just throw it. So y'all really ain't talking. So anyway, they agree to disagree. I mean, you could tell that it was still a lot of tension there, but hey, they neither one I want to take responsibility, so they either got to choose to move on or shoot. Hell, I don't even know. It's it's really sad. So anyway, so we get to the Grammys, and the day of the Grammys, you know, everybody's there with the exception of Tamar. They don't know where Tamar's at. Tony is freaking out because her dress is not there yet. Her sister went to go get it. But she's supposed to be getting ready to walk the red carpet. And she still don't have no dress. Well. Her dress comes in the nick of time. And she changes. And let me tell y'all. Tony Braxton it looked absolutely gorgeous, y'all. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. I was like, wow. She looked breathtaking in that white dress, y'all. So anyway, she changes. And on her way to... Um, the Grammy Awards, the sisters are at the hotel watching it because they're doing the pre-telecast ceremony first. And they see under the screen that Tony Braxton Babyface's album won. So they hurry up and call Tony's manager. And they're like, ah, she won, she won. And you know what? I was like that too. I mean, I was packing and I stopped doing what I was doing. I was like, yes, go ahead, Tony, go ahead, Tony. Like, y'all understand. I go up for Tony Braxton. I go up for everybody that is bringing me real music, real vocals. Yes, I go in for that. So, anyway, so everybody's excited. She won. Trina calls Tamar because, like she said, you know, despite our disagreement, you know, at the end of the day, we sister. So, you know, the first thing she did was call Tamar. And everybody's screaming like, yay, yay, yay. So when t- t- um, Tony comes back, you know, to celebrate with everybody, Tamar is still not there. She's like, where's Tamar? And that's where we left off at. It was like a too big continue, like this whole big dramatic pause. We all know that at the top of the episode, she's going to come busting in there, ready to celebrate her big sister's accomplishment. So anyway, y'all, that was the episode. Till next time, y'all. Peace and love.